This video is sponsored by Advix. The journey of advanced technology starts and stops with Advix. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com for more information. Got a call from one of my readers who's trying to diagnose a vibration problem in the rear end of a vehicle. He had just done the brakes and also the tires have been replaced 15,000 miles ago. He tried balancing the wheels. They came out just fine. Then he was wondering, hmm, can I balance a brake rotor? Well, chances are if you've bought a high quality brake rotor, it is already balanced in the factory. You will see on the brake rotor, there might be marks to where they've taken out a certain amount of material called a mill balance to make sure that this rotor is statically and dynamically balanced. Also, another thing to consider is the size of the rotor. So this is a 15 inch wheel. We all know how to balance these with tape weights and even some of the other weights that clamp onto the edge of the rim. This is a 13 inch rotor, but it's a little bit different. When this is balanced at the factory, it's done both for static and dynamic, and it removes weight from the rotor. They're not adding weight to the rotor. Some less quality rotor manufacturers, they will actually add weight by stuffing in lead into some of the pockets. And in some cases, that lead weight can come out and cause an imbalanced rotor. But if you're purchasing a high quality rotor, you're gonna see the mill balances or no mill balance at all because it's properly cast. So if you're trying to rule out a brake rotor, yes, you can put it on a tire balancer, but the numbers really aren't gonna make any sense. But just make sure that you're using a high quality rotor and this reduces the possibilities of having any vibration or noise problems from the brake system. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.